So the our director Melinda Marx is um, is on the autism spectrum, recently mm. diagnosed, um, and is sort of in her proposal as a as as a as when she was proposing to direct this show, she sort of talked about her experience, and and I've talked about what she's interested in having me share and not share, and I think um, as a part of her proposal, I think she's interested in exploring that um, this idea of of uh, what it means to be different. Mm -hmm. um, and what it means to explore those, 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 um, what it means to be neurodivergent and, 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 and what it means to be on the autism spectrum because she's sort of in the beginning stages of what that looks like for her. Another really uh, interesting, and, and in the play, it's a really cool thing that Christopher does, is he will often count numbers to calm himself down and to mm -hmm. sort of think through a process. Um, and so he'll do the prime numbers up to 100, or he'll do the, I'm going to get this wrong, but I think he'll do the, the, the cubed prime numbers up to a thousand or something like that. Something that's um, sort of somewhat mentally taxing, but also can allow him to focus. And it's something that within the structure of the play, there are all these voices that sort of represent different parts of, of Christopher's internal monologue that will join him um, and then go away. And so I think it, it's all a process for, for Henry, and I've gotten to see this in action um, of, of figuring out okay, what parts of this can I take from the research that I've done in terms of the character? And what parts of this are about crafting a person, right? Because we don't want it to be like this general like, oh, this is what uh, a person with Asperger's acts like, right? That's not real. That doesn't exist in the world. Um, it's just about like, how can I build this character using, you know, things that I've learned from research mm -hmm. um, while also making this a fully fledged character a human being because that's really what we want to represent on stage in the research that I've done and Melinda's done with other productions I think <clears throat> not so much surprising but I think one of the things that the show does really really well is talk about this this unique this one unique experience I don't think the play and, 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 and Mark Haddon and Simon Stevens both have talked about how important it was that they did not specifically pigeonhole this character into one type of divergence mm -hmm. um, but it's I think what people have said is that it's really valuable to see this experience and to feel this experience um, in terms of uh, what it's like to live in, 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 in one or more of these sort of categories.